up, peeps? We're getting a little drizzle, benizzle in the big bizzle next to my hizzle. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just in a good mood. Just stopped at my friend uh, Coach Nick's house. Nick, uh, he's uh, my... I, I, he's my MMA coach, and then uh, he and my BJJ, my my Brazilian Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach, uh, um, Jovan, they went down for a tournament last night, and Bear City Jiu-Jitsu, my friend Ryan, he got in the white belt division first place. Uh, coach Nick got uh, in the in the blue belt division, got second place, but he was about to actually dominate, and Coach Jovan came in third place. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm just so proud of them. So proud of them. I wish I could be down there and compete with them or just at least be there to, you know, support them. But as you guys know, I, I have very little time. So it's just such a bummer. But anyway, this is what's going on. Um, I'm in the Subaru right now because my Saturn, I bottomed out because the shocks are dead. Um, so I bottom out often, even just going the speed limit, like just pulling into a, a driveway super slow as well. And my, uh, my transmission pan like exploded so all the transmission fluid had leaked out i thought it was oil but i had it towed anyway so it didn't do any extra damage but just what bad luck so that's going to cost me about five six hundred bucks on my saturn which isn't even worth that much almost and uh yeah so anyway this is what we got going on folks we're in bear city right now we just had a little bit of drizzle um and yeah we are headed to the sugarloaf area so I thought maybe we'd keep the camera on for a moment while we head to Sugarloaf. But yeah, right now, let's see, what's the temperature? It's 46 degrees, 333. And yes, this car needs a bath. It's a 2019 Subaru. Look at how filthy it is, just everywhere, just filthy. I haven't washed it on the inside once since I've had it. I got it in November, I think. No, the beginning of December. Um, but yeah, she needs a definite wash on the inside. I need a detail. But I'd rather spend my money elsewhere. And I don't have time to do it myself. That's the problem. You guys are like, bro, all you do is drive around. I do not have time. I swear, you guys, believe it or not, I don't. I don't. Um, anyway, all of you guys, I love you guys so much. I've missed you guys tremendously. I miss doing the live feeds, which we started for the first time this season. Obviously, they're going to be more next season. Um, and if we get some great thunderstorms, maybe I'll do some live feeds for our thunderstorms during our monsoon season. But I'm really glad you guys are enjoying the uh, drone. I am super stoked about that. And also, the drone has a lot of cool features, guys. It's got a time-lapse feature, too, where I can put the drone up in the air wherever I want and then just hit the time-lapse button and, and it'll stay in that one spot for the whole battery life. And I'm thinking about doing um, a really cool time-lapse if we get any thunderstorms. That would be pretty awesome. Um, I really want to make these as best as I can for you guys and really take take risks with my equipment for you guys because I I, I want to get good stuff, good, good videos, good pics. Um, I don't want to be one of those casualties who dies every year from, like, trying to get the great pick, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, and I have fun doing this. Um, it gets pretty costly, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. If you're happy doing something, then don't spare any costs. I'm telling you right now, you guys, you can't take that money with you. Don't spare any costs. If if it's if it's something that brings you joy, spend the money. Do it. You know. I'll tell you what, man. Money does buy happiness. It truly does good health insurance, nice, nice cars, good, good transportation, nice roof over your head. Um, you know, just, just, just the hot water, just, just money buys happiness with, without money, you know, we can't really do too much. And, <laughs> you know, um, obviously, you know, money can tear people apart, tear up, tear up families too. But that's, that's, that's the cop out that I just do not like. Yeah. Well, well, you know, money you can't buy happiness and money all it does is just it destroys families and stuff like with all due respect the people I hear saying that are people who have never had money you know so that's just that's just not fair that's just not not fair like I've gone through points in my life where I was making a lot of money and then I made nothing and broke on food stamps and making a lot of money and then back to broke on food stamps um, but when I had money I was able to to make my life 
livable for me and that was happiness um, so anyway uh, but you know never let money take over your life but just just be responsible people who have a lot of money can be unhappy people who are poor are, can be un, un, unhappy it's all how you manage your money and how you manage yourself and anyway I'm not a freaking a financial expert or advisor in any way <laughs> but um, yeah I'm telling you man work hard and get some of that money and see how how great some things in life can get because of extra cash um, you know so anyway I wish we all had equal uh, amount of cash but that's just not realistic you know it's just not there's a line in one of my favorite movies Caddyshack the world needs ditch diggers too like it's very true it's very true so anyway I am going to shut this off for a second because I've got to drive up here and make a phone call. So I'm going to shut it off. Hang on. All right, you guys. So we're on Maple still. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take Moonloaf back. Why not, right? It's been a while. Let's go see how Moonloaf's doing right now. Let's go check out the loaf. The loaf of the moon. So anyway, we're just on a delivery right now. Uh, we've actually, on this this video, we've, we've already done done two. This is the third. Then I get to go home, thank goodness. Get to go home and eat some food, my friend. Oh, I'm very hungry, my friend. I need to get some food in my stomach. No. <laughs> yes, I am a weirdo. Uh, I do not dispute that. We've got an officer in front of us of the undercover variety. Of the undercover variety. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hello there, copper. Here they copper. All right, so, yes, I am a strange one. Got to go back there again. But, yeah, so we are getting drizzle up here as well in Sugarloaf. Um, supposed to pick up a little bit, you guys, but not much. However... Check it out. I'm going to go snow hunting tonight for you guys. See if we can get uh, some more snow. I think up at, at, at Onyx Summit about 8, between 8 and 10 p.m., there could be an opportunity to get some snowflakes. And, uh, um, yeah, we're, we're going to go capture them if we can. So I will, uh, out of privacy and respect for my customer, i got to shut this down, and, and then I will talk to you guys shortly. All right. So peace out, guys. This is a oh, just real quick. This is the really popular liquor store up here. It's like the only store up here. I I I, I can't remember what it's called. It's uh, um, make it easy. Oh, Easy's, Easy's, Easy's General Store. And this restaurant, Callens, is phenomenal. Anyway, guys, peace out. I'll see you in a moment. We're gonna do moonlight, right, guys. So we just left my customer's house and we are headed this direction. -e. Directione. That was not any language. <laughs> it was a mix. It was a mix. Moon loaf, here we come. Ooh. But yeah, we are in sugar loaf right now, guys. something on my windshield wiper that is not allowing me to clear that streak right there and I'm not happy my friend oh my goodness what should I do you know what we're gonna do right before we get into moon loaf we're gonna stop and uh oh dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. all right so we make a left here to get to moon loaf and then I'm just going to check my windshield wiper, make sure there's not like something stuck to it. I just think it's from all the ice. All right, guys, so bear with me a second. Let me, uh, let me do this right here. Get this view while I'm doing this like a schmuck. All right, don't fall phone. Don't fall phone. Why is that moving by itself? All right. All right, let's see here.
<coughs> well, I hope that helps, guys. I hope that helps. So, we get the phone real quick, and we will head head down there. I don't think that's gonna help. I feel I think the windshield wiper just needs to be replaced. But we'll see right here. No, nope, that worked. Oh no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I lied. I lied. Okay. So in my Mercedes, I made it up this hill when it was completely covered in snow. In my Mercedes 500, but look at how messed up it is right now. There's just that'd be tough to make it up in this thing right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. This road is just always like this. Oh yeah. Man, look at this one. This is deep right here. This little rivet that we're going to do right here. Oh, don't bottom out, please. Don't bottom out. Not in this thing. I just did that in my Saturn, as I said, and my transmission pan exploded. Again! <laughs> so my Saturn started having problems a couple years ago doing a YouTube video on Highway 38. I went around a corner and there had been a, a, a rock slide and I went over a rock thinking I was just going to be able to clear it, just be able to clear it, and I missed by like an inch and it cut right through my transmission pan. And about a mile up the road I was hitting the gas and nothing was happening. It wasn't catching, nothing, and so I had to have it towed, and it just was not fun. It just was not fun, but yeah. My good friend Casey from Newport, he let me use one of his AAA toes, and this was before I had my own business or anything like that, so I was just, I, I was desperate. I was desperate. Now I have two premier AAA memberships, not just one, two, because of all the winter driving I do. You just never know how many tight spots I'm going to get in. And guys, I only had to use my AAA once, and that was yesterday. And it's almost been a year since I since I signed up for both of the premium memberships. I get eight toes. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? But anyway, we are in Moonloaf. Oops, 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 slow down there, Nikki. All right. How, how are all of you doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing great. I am hungrier, hungry like a wolf. Driving the sky, I know this guy, and he's hungry like a wolf. Here in my loaf, two sugar loaf. <laughs> and I'm hungry like an oaf. <laughs> Oh man, I'm pretty much as dumb as I look, I guess. <laughs> look guys, I love to make fun of myself because taking life too seriously has just been a, de a detriment to me. And so I have fun with myself and my friends. And when I have to take life serious, I do, but I don't take myself serious. Not at all. And until I need to, you know, it's, I, I, I just don't like walking around, walking on eggshells anymore. And just being a grumpy guy, like, so yeah, I don't take myself seriously anymore. As I said, when I need to, if, 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 if I need to be there for myself or my friends or my family, then absolutely. God, wouldn't it be cool to live here right back? Oops, look at this, this freaking guy. Thank you. But at least we were at the very end here. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool to live right here, man? way up at the top here that guy's so lucky look at that what a nice place too he's not lucky he worked hard for that and i commend him for that <sighs> unfortunately we live in a state where a lot of people think they're owed something just for breathing i beg to differ <laughs> work hard get a job all right oh, don't tell me is my tire flat Ooh, I always almost miss this street. Anyway, we're in Moon Ridge, guys. We're in Upper Moon Ridge. And we are getting some drizzle still. You can see it's just really socking us in right now. We're getting socked in here with the 
clouds. Yeah, guys, this is just, this is a gorgeous street too, man. Just some of the houses are just spectacular on this street. Like, look at that one right there. Boom! Just, just all these big old houses, man. They are so beautiful over here. If any of you want to move up here and are very reliable and are willing to pay like a thousand a month to to split rent in a place like this, and I mean like I'll pay a thousand, you pay a thousand type thing. I'd be totally down to live in one of these big ass houses because we can live in, in in a house like like that huge one right there. I I bet for like twenty five hundred a month, no problem. And wouldn't that just be spectacular, guys? So, any takers, let me know. I do love the place I'm I'm living, so I'll keep that place as well. You guys are like, damn. but you can't see it because of the clouds. As I said, I've socked it in over there. I mean, so many homes, guys, up here are just amazingly beautiful, and so many are vacant. So, I mean, trust me, there are a lot of people who I'm sure are in some financial, I wouldn't say ruins because they still have their, their um, places, but, you know, they might rather take something than take nothing at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of situation we're in up here. So... If you're really good at communicating in the real estate industry, and um, this, this, even though it's it's not a huge market up here, you could fully win up here big time. I mean, you could fully win up here. Just no, no problem. Look at this fog though, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's so cool. foggy over here. What the heck's going on over here? So this is the area I like to tell you guys to come sledding when we get our snow. This whole area. It's this huge gully right here and when there's enough snow you can slide down that whole side and not worry about going into the street and especially you mom and dads out there. You don't have to worry about your kids sledding from one of these hills right here from your house right into the street getting hit by a car. That's why this gully is fantastic. Both sides, you can slide up and down when there's snow, and it's a pretty good up and down. You know, good 20, 30 feet in in some parts. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this video is gonna take me about six days to upload. You guys are gonna be like, dude, it was raining. You need to upload a video. Hello, McFly. And I'm gonna be like, dude. This stupid computer is taking forever. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys very much. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I think I'm going to hit the video right now um, and start patching it together for you guys. I love you guys. I will update you a little bit later. As I said, we're going to try to hit some snow tonight if uh, if the conditions are, are still favorable for it up at Onyx Summit because we're going to have to be at least 8,000, maybe a little bit higher. So uh, we're going to check it out. All right, guys. I love you guys very much. Thanks again for everything. Thanks for the support, the love, and I'm going to keep doing the best I can for you guys and keep putting myself out there. Peace out.